Dubai faces significant water scarcity due to its arid climate and limited freshwater resources. The UAE, located in one of the hottest and driest regions on earth, has been leading the effort to seed clouds and increase precipitation. Welcome to VAR India News R. Cloud seeding offers a potential solution to augment precipitation and increase water supply for agriculture, industry and domestic use. The practice is a type of weather modification process whereby small planes fly through clouds burning salt flares which can increase precipitation to help make it rain. The salt particles serve as nuclei around which water droplets condense, eventually growing heavy enough to fall as precipitation in the form of rain. The United Arab Emirates resorted to cloud seeding technique in 2002 in a bid to address water scarcity issues. By exploring cloud seeding as a weather management strategy, Dubai can diversify its water sources beyond the traditional methods such as desalination and groundwater extraction. This diversification enhances water scarcity and resilience to climate variability. Despite the potential benefits of cloud seeding, concerns have been raised about its environmental impact and the safety of the seeding agents used. The heavy rainfall prompted the UAE government to issue warnings urging employees to work from home and only leave in cases of extreme necessity. All federal employees have been asked to work remotely until Wednesday. A recent study suggested that annual rainfall could increase by up to about 30% across much of the UAE by the end of the century as the world continues to warm. Following the downpour, several reports quoted meteorologists at the National Center for Meteorology, the UAE's meteorology agency, as saying they flew six or seven cloud seeding flights before the rain. The heavy showers that disrupted life in Dubai city were associated with a larger storm system traversing the Arabian Peninsula and moving across the Gulf of Oman. Overall, cloud seeding aligns with Dubai's objectives of addressing water scarcity, prompting sustainable water management practices and enhancing resilience to climate change, making it a viable option for the Emirates. Let's look into today's headline. Apple joins a rooftop solar joint venture to power its India businesses. Apple has announced that it will be investing in six rooftop solar projects in India in partnership with CleanMax, a Mumbai-based provider of solar energy solutions. Apple claims that the combined output of these projects will be 14.4 megawatts, which will power other domestic operations in addition to the company's stores and offices. Samsung unveils a DRAM chip with rapid speed for AI revolution. Samsung unveiled the first AI-specific LPDDR5X DRAM chip in the market with a 30% capacity increase and a 10.7 Gbps speed. With the use of 12nm process technology, a lower chip size is promised. With mass production scheduled for later in 2024, the chips are a key component of on-device AI, demonstrating Samsung's dedication to innovation in the AI age. iOS 17.5 Beta 2 includes direct app installation from websites. With the release of iOS 17.5 Beta 2, Apple revealed new features to testers including the ability for EU users to install apps directly from websites. The goal of the change is to give developers more control over alternative app marketplaces that are exclusive to the EU, making app distribution easier for them. Microsoft OneNote is now AR and VR compatible with Apple Vision Pro. Microsoft OneNote is now compatible with Apple's Vision Pro, enabling an immersive note-taking experience with support for both virtual and augmented reality. Users can type using a virtual keyboard or use speech mode to take notes without using their hands. Standard functionality like memo writing, tagging and password protection stay the same. Logitech brings in Logi AI. Logitech has named its new AI Logi AI Prompt Builder, which will be using a dedicated button on mouse or keyboard. The Logi AI Prompt Builder doesn't just allow users with a chatbot, but can also give preset recipes to help prompt it. If a user assigns an AI button to a Logitech mouse, they could ask it to rephrase paragraphs of text, turn them into bullet points, make them shorter and more concise, or fit a specific word count. 
That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.